Yeah. Yes, you Yeah, music. see? Gonna kill you, see? Music. Gonna get in that little camera, see? And kill you, see? Which, Matt, no, Matt, no, get out of here. Today was the first day that we were back in the rehearsal studio and it was an awesome time. We're typically used to using crazy heavy ass fucking equipment. Yep. Not getting all the technical shit. Because I don't know it. But I know it makes fucking noise, man. So we're giving Nick shit because he can't find a fucking drumstick. Not having a drumstick. Sorry, guys. That's like a porn star going, sorry, I didn't bring my dick today, guys, you know? The fuck are you doing here? There he is. What is that? The sexy bastard right there. Some what's, sort of time cap? What's that? That's the fucking... That's some sort of... Time? That's that's the money maker right there. <laughs> Alright, so what does this do? The fuck is this? I don't know. Do you fit in there? I get it. That's where you go. Yeah. Right there. That's where you live. That's where I do all my uh, dirty deeds. We're gonna tuck your head right in your asshole. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stick you right in there. That's where all the magic happens. I just said that about this too. So what does this do so far? What do you have complete? Uh, right now this plays bass. That's about all it does. This is gonna be my uh, my bass rig, my new bass rig. So thanks for funding that. Yep. All right. Nobody cares <laughs> about bass. What is what does this one do? This is our recording and in ear and splitter rack. Um, We'll be ingesting all the channels into this rack and then splitting them off to our X32 there on the bottom and the uh, front of house rig. How does it feel to go from this to the analog? Uh, go, I'm sorry, go from the analog equipment, those big ass heavy amplifiers uh, to this. So far, so good. My back don't hurt today, so yeah. that's, that's really nice. Hauling all them tubes around? Yep, no tubes. No tubes? Nope, we're done with the tubes. Done with the tubes. How, uh, Except my preamp tube, I got one tube. We got one tube and no drumsticks. We're out of drumsticks. Jesus Christ, I know. I see him walking around looking for drumsticks like a screwball. Yeah. You're going to use your finger. You you better you better pull that, that whopper out of your pants, man. Start banging on the skins with that fucking thing. Are you high? Are you just drugged out of your mind? It's not January 1st yet, so no. Exactly. What does that mean? That means you only get high on January 1st? Um, no, but that's when it's legal in Illinois. Toots and Rootski all day. Oh, we're talking about that high. All right, well, you guys are no fun. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? This was his idea. These are metal drums. Guys. <laughs> Fucking brutal, man. I'm doing <laughs> I would legit rather not rehearse or rehearse without you. <laughs> Then have you beat your drums with that? <laughs> I hope you have a million drummers that comment on this and go, no shit, it's not gonna work. I tried that once. <laughs> Let me just go grab my invisible strings. I'm gonna see if those are gonna work for me. <laughs> beat Def Leppard. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Rick Allen from now on. <laughs> hey, listen, no shade at Rick Allen. That motherfucker plays better than most drummers would play with if they had four arms. Maybe we should get another drummer in the band so we can trade drumsticks when we're missing. We'll just have them both play at the same time. The good news is, is when a guitar player leaves his uh, guitar strap at home. Oh, yep, ending the video. All right, so what he's talking about is we played a show in Michigan at Michigan State Fair a couple years ago. And me being uh, the, uh, the idiot that I am, I forgot my guitar strap back in oh, Chicago. <laughs> it's kind of difficult for the front man to sing uh, without a strap or sitting down. Nope. So, uh, he had to actually sacrifice his strap, which was brutal because he actually plays really low, so my guitar was like Zach Wilde. I'm playing like this. I'm glad he did that, because if it cut off at my arm, it would look like I was, was like, like touching myself. <laughs> so, I'm sitting there, and I'm playing, and Bruce, what did you do? I had to sit on the, uh, the stage riser. I hung out with Nick the whole time. Kept him company? He was pissed. Scale of 1 to 10, how pissed were you? Uh, definitely like a nine and a half. <laughs> but then I got my uh, my bonus royalty check after that, and it was slightly better, so like eight and a half. Eight and a half dollars? Yeah. Royalty check? Yeah. Times are bad. Real bad. 
pretty Dad, much. that's pretty good. That's eight and a half more dollars than I fucking did. <laughs> Two thousand years later. What'd you think of the new shed, Bruce? It's pretty good. Well, can I keep this? Mm. Impressive. Now all we need to do is get some good guitar players behind these machines here and we're fucking solid. Well, wherever will we find them? Back page. <laughs> back, back page, huh? That's where we found you. Yeah. <laughs> Sign out, guys. What's Jerry's final thoughts for the evening? Well, who's uh, Jerry? I'm not it's time to go home. You are home. Yeah, my point exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice. Well, AKA, it's time for you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's a nice way of saying it. What are your final thoughts? My final thoughts, I'm pregnant. Dude, I used protection. You lying son of a bitch. I poke holes. What's your final thoughts? The snakes are kosher. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, flying high into the sky! <laughs> Weak! <laughs> Damn!